Baby, I wanna switch this shit up. Fuck the old shit. Yeah. We ain't gonna bash, girl. Yeah. It's just us, girl. Let me know what's up, girl. What's up, girl? Cause I'm gonna throw it down. Eat it up, oh, go down. Eat it up. Oh. Take it down, 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 down. Welcome to my channel today. And today I will be giving you five tips on living off campus. The first tip I think is the most important tip is making sure that you get your application fee and your application turned it on time because you can go through the whole process of doing the application but if you don't pay the application fee, somebody can get the apartment before you because they paid their application fee and you didn't. So um, just make sure that you pay your application fee. Some range from 50 to 60. I've never had anything over 60, but I've paid as low as 50. And sometimes they do promotions where they waive the application fee. That's the best time to put in your application because you don't have to pay for it. You can just go ahead and submit it. Um, another thing I would say is make sure you read carefully through the application. Make sure that you do not need a guarantor because if you don't make three times the rent, most likely you're going to have to have a guarantor that makes three times the rent because they will not let you sign up for that apartment because they need to know that you have three times the rent to cover the rent and another thing is make sure a guarantor reads through the application and everything and make sure everything is together and straight so you're not looking lost when you get into the apartment my second tip would be to make sure you research where you're staying like look around see how far it is from campus whether you can walk to campus or you have to commute to campus what is around your apartment complex like eeries like what type of restaurants what shopping centers around just make sure you know that area so you know whether you're staying in a good area or not the third tip i would say is make sure that you pay your rent on time because if you do not pay your rent on time they will charge you a late fee and you don't want that to happen because once late fee starts occurring they can evict you from that apartment fourth tip would be make sure you know your bills because even though they might say oh rent is 845 you need to ask whether or not if utilities is included in your base rent and if parking is included in the rent because some places are charge you 40 50 dollars just to park a month and some places include utilities inside your rent base fee and some places make you go out and get your own utilities like you have to go get your power turn on go get your cable go get your wi-fi so just make sure you know all that before you move in so you will really know what you will be paying a month and not thinking you pay 845 and when you get into the apartment you're paying close to a thousand dollars a month so just make sure you check all that out before you actually sign the lease another thing is make sure when you sign that lease you read through that lease because you might be signing your life away and you just never know so just make sure you read that lease all the way through before you initial and sign the fifth tip i would say check your apartment before you move anything in that apartment when i say check it i mean look at the walls look at the baseboard make sure your toilet work make sure the lights work because they can charge you for something that was broken when you came in there so you need to check for dents and everything throughout the whole apartment or house whatever you're renting make sure you check it and clean it before you move in because even if they hire a cleaning crew it's not clean clean it please so those are all the tips that I have for you today. And another thing is just stay positive because you're not going to get the first house you look for or the first house might not be the best house for you. So just make sure you stay positive and keep looking and keep researching. But that's all I have for you today. Bye, you guys. Baby, I'm going to switch this shit up. Fuck the old shit. Yeah. It's just 